Hi everyone. Let me just uh, get everything ready here. I love Dark Horse. Come on now. There we go. Twist here. Hey Dark Horse, how you doing buddy? Good to see you. Okay, Tiny, you need to get off of me. Sorry. My cat's screwing everything up. Okay. That's good to hear. Good, to, glad you're doing good. And I know that the avatar on the screen is not my avatar. This is actually my PlayStation avatar. I don't know how to switch it to my avatar. So if someone could let me know how to do that, that'd be great. Because um, I genuinely have no idea. Maybe. I guess it's always a start. Um, I'm going to try that real quick before I get started. see this real quick. Let me see if I can change this. Hold on. I'll be right back. That's not what I wanted. Cat, you need to get down. Okay. I'm not going to worry about it for right now. That would be changed in future episodes.
that's just my PlayStation 4 icon, so just ignore it for the time being, I guess. Alright. So, we're going to do some different stuff today. We're actually going to start off with zombies. And we're going to see how far I can get in round-based. And then we're going to do a little bit of Outbreak. And then I might play some God of War or some maybe some horror games here and there, but we're just going to play a bunch of different games today, so we're going to start off with, why not, let's start off with Dime Machina, and we're going to start off with the basics, we're actually going to go ahead and pull out the handy dandy 911 pistol, or 1911, I'm sorry, 1911 pistol, so no upgrades, no nothing on it, just good old fashioned, old school pistols. As you can be as you can see, I'm the best character in the game, Samantha Maxis. So let's get into this. You know what? I might be able to change this online. I don't know, think about it. I was positive when it gets into it. Good old handy dandy pistols. Profile. Let's see if I can change this before we actually get into it. Requiem actual strike team is on the ground. This real quick. I can change it from here. Okay. But how is the question? Hmm. Can't change it to one of mine. No. That's disappointing. I need to figure out a way to do that later. So, because there's a way you can do it. This is where it started, to. Strike Team. Let's get some answers. So, I will be trying to do the Easter eggs on these maps. And I'll do my best to keep the pistol Say my name. pretty much the I entire dare time. You. So. I did not expect to see this place again. Though considering the experiments undertaken here, I should have known it would not remain buried. It should have remained buried, Dr. Strauss. Team, find the facility entrance. Bean. Death is all you deserve. Bean. Bean. Sorry, we have people working outside and my dog's freaking out.
Okay. Uh, Dark Horse, are you still here? If you are still here, I would ask that you uh, share this and let people know that we are live. And to come to the stream. I would love to have more people as we do our little Let's Play. Just... People know that I am live. So it's important to note that the damage falls off the pistol really, really quick. Oh, I got a new camo. Sweet. Hostile expired. Shit. No effort is wasted. Okay. So it's important to pick up these gear things because these will help me upgrade the pistol later in the battle. It's actually really hard to upgrade the pistol um, in round based modes, but we're going to do our best. Okay, let's just go ahead and train some of these zombies. Get them to where I want them. Okay. 
Maybe p picking the pistol was a bad idea. I am so much more than you know. Kaboom is a blessing and a curse because it only gives you 400 points. Let's lower down the number to one zombies and then let's get let's go to the next room. Pistol's no longer doing any damage. Threat neutralized. You. Believe me. Yours will not be the last head I take. Let's see if I can spread the word out a little bit more. Spread the word out that I'm alive. Okay. Fear me. Oh, I just took out two and one. I just got two for. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, come on. <laughs> 
on this damn pistol. Get dropped. Called again, Juggernaut. Yeah, Juggernaut. God, there's like no more kick to this freaking pistol. your last. for you. focused entirely on atomic research, but I heard stories, mysterious gateways, oh. 
natural transformation. Set aside, we should restore power. Okay, crap out of me, okay. are weak and pathetic. I have plans for you. Enemy casualty. Your anger achieved nothing. Mine, however. So we're gonna go through the level of hell hounds now. Fetch me their souls. I don't see me for. I don't foresee me surviving this. Strike team, take it if we need to regroup. Okay, I might as well just go ahead and get another weapon because this ain't getting better anytime soon. I suppose SMGs do have their place.
Enemy appears KIA. Just keep running, just keep running. What do we do? We run. Oh, goodness gracious. Hello, the person who has joined. We are getting our butts kicked. Yes, I am live streaming to the PlayStation. That's why my icon is um, Kratos and not my avatar because I, I don't know how to change it. So, turn this up a little bit. Okay. Raven, I am happy you are here, my man. Very, very... Ooh, look. Mystery box. Okay. So. In the beginning, I said I was going to try to do this with just a pistol, but that proved to be way too difficult. So. That's probably not going to be happening here much longer. Wait, no. I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. I need to get to the pack a punch machine. Huh? No, put it down. There you go. Oh, shoot the moon. Well, Raven, thank you so much for joining us. Really I got a it. signal lock on. We're back in business. What happened? Satellite malfunction? Information suggests they traveled beyond our dimension. They did not interact with the gateway, did they? I did interact I'd with the gateway. I'd recommend extended quarantine upon their return to base. Holy crap. I need to get, um... I need to get pack a punched here very quickly. Yes. Suck on this. Access the Easter egg. I remember Why how to do you refuse do it to correctly. obey? Shoot the moon. Shoot, 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 shoot. Just really quick, can everyone hear me okay? Am I coming in loud and clear, or do I need to turn up the vol volume on my mic? Just before I continue, everyone can hear me, correct? Everyone who's here. Is that a yes or a no? If anyone is still here. Okay, cool. Awesome. Probably because I am a bit. I'm, I'm talking a little quiet because my wife's asleep right now. But let me. Um, to worry about. Oh, let me do this. Let me do. Put this right here. Let me just scooch up a little bit. Oh. Oh, look at that ugly dude in the face. Okay. Okay. Did I just make it through a round? I did. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the Easter egg is. 
I'm going the wrong way. Where is it? Down here. And I need to access like a file or something. So, uh, is it down here? It's in here. No. In here? Over here? Yes, I'll I will deal with you in a second. Not down here? I guess not. I'm going back to the regular world anyways, so this was a waste of time. <sighs> God, I'm such a jerk. Okay. Soon this will be over. Okay, okay, okay. Are you scared of me? Oh, hello. And I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, it lasted a lot longer than I thought I would, so. Okay, so next we are actually going to do Outbreak. And Outbreak is actually my favorite, absolutely favorite mode. So, we're going to go into Outbreak, and we're going to try to get to the highest round we can at Outbreak. So, and after we play Outbreak, I'm actually going to switch games, and we're going to play a different game. We're actually going to be playing a game called Black Mirror, which I genuinely know nothing about, so... All I know is that it's a horror game. Don't know how scary it is. Don't know what it's about. So. Okay. And for Outbreak, we are going to be using a... AK-47. Because why not? And again, I want to thank you guys for joining the stream, um, for coming here. I really do appreciate it uh, to join me while I get my ass kicked in all of these video games because I truly do absolutely 100% suck at video games. So I appreciate everyone who's here right now. By the way, uh, how's y'all days going? Uh, Dark Horse, you said you just got me some new glasses. Raven, I hope your day is going well. Um, I hope everyone is having a good day. Uh, soon I'll learn how to fix the um, profile picture that you see right there. Because I know it's Kratos right now. That's a little distracting. Um, actually, you know what? Let me... Um... That's good to hear. Glad you guys are doing okay. Um, but I'll, I will fix this. Um, this profile picture. I, I want it to be mine. I don't know how to change it to mine quite yet. Um, I kind of suck with technology. So, um, I'm just I'm just kind of trucking along, trying to figure this out as I go. Uh, I wanted to do this through my computer, back, but... Time to go to work. Uh, PS4 remote play. Weaver, is I've lost contact working. with a research team at a specimen analyzer station. We could do with strike team support. So I'll have strike to team. proceed to DASA site. Figure that out here shortly. Just another obstacle to overcome for Rando. Yeah. 
You... So, my profile picture is my avatar. But my PlayStation picture... As far as I know, you can only choose from what's on the PlayStation. So... So my pro my profile picture is my avatar, like I said, but this is my PlayStation picture, and I can't seem to change it to my avatar, which, I mean, I'm sure it's something super simple that I'm just overlooking, and I'll figure it out here shortly, it's just, I mean, I don't want it to be half of the stream me trying to figure it out, so... I'm Rando Calarizian. Yep, filthy zombies. <laughs> yes, Raven, we're gonna leave all the technical issues to be fixed in your coffee stream. <laughs> I'm the world's worst about that, just wasting time trying to fix something while I'm in the middle of something. World's worst at it. And I apologize if I sound a little... If my voice sounds strained at all, I'm uh, actually a little sick. I just, um... Came back from the... I went to the doctors yesterday. Uh, and, uh... I have a small fever, and I passed a kidney stone yesterday, so... I'm not feeling my best, but, you know... Just kind of trucking along. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little, a little under weather. I've been sick for a couple days. Uh, didn't go to work on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, didn't go to work on Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday morning I passed a kidney stone, which was great. It's like, well, now I know why I'm not feeling well, because I have kidney stones. Again. But, you know, it is what it is. Just... Think I heard the skull go pop. I smile as your corpses pile up. Just doing stuff that's easy and simple to do, like playing Call of Duty. Hello? Oh, god damn. Jesus Christ. See, this is what sucks, is this is actually, and I'm down. God, I freaking hate Hellhounds so much. This is near where the Pack-a-Punch machine is, and... There was no hope, nor mercy for you. The developers literally made it so they puppy guard the Pack-a-Punch machine like no other. It's really annoying. Okay, let's see what objectives we have to do. So, okay, so let's go do the dragon Move on my objective. Waypoint. Okay, so let me show you what the pack a punch machine is real quick. So I can't use it right now because I don't have enough money, but I will show you what it is. So basically, it's a thing to upgrade your gun to make it more powerful. So we'll go up here. Yeah, see, they, they puppy guard. They puppy guard this thing. So this is the Pack-a-Punch machine, and there are three tiers to it. There's the first tier, second tier, and third tier. Each one is highly more expensive than the other. First one is 5,000, second one is 15, third one is 30,000. Yeah, see, they're still puppy... I'm not even... I don't even have enough money to use it, and they're still puppy guarding it. So... This upgrades your weapon, um, and you always want to make sure you have a higher tier when you upgrade it. Like right now, I have a red tier. If I were to upgrade it right now, my gun wouldn't be pretty much any more powerful than it is right now. So the best place to tier it is probably when it, or uh, not tier it, but upgrade it when it's purple, there on the bottom. And when it's that, not only will you get more ammo, but your gun will become significantly more powerful. 
And you always want to shoot these things before you open them because there's these things called mimics that are like octopus zombies that can change into literally anything they want to and if you don't shoot these before you go up to them that's pretty much certain death. I'll pick up some body armor, don't mind if I do. Okay. Far from finished. <sighs> okay, so we are going to the dragon objective. That's right. Setting rally point. It's always smart in Outbreak to kind of gather up as much money as you can and not really upgrade <laughs> till you go to the next world. So each world in Outbreak <laughs> is like doing five rounds in a regular map, ground based map. So World 1, of course, is like you're on round 1, World 2 is like you're on round 5, World 3 is like you're on round 10, so on and so forth. Um, and that's just kind of like the difficulty curve on Outbreak, which is why I think I like it so much more than I do round-based maps. Also, you know, more of an open world and everything, and you can actually drive cars and do stuff like that. And I just think it's more enjoyable than <gasps> round-based. It is a little repetitive, but I enjoy it. So, oh god. This is, um, Cold War. Cold War is probably my favorite zombie experience. Just because of Outbreak. Outbreak is definitely my favorite. Um, I, I just like the open world aspect that it's got. I like the objectives that you can do. I like the fact that... There's a different variety Destination of, marked. you know, monsters and enemies, and there's not, it's not just zombies, it's, you know, hellhounds and zombies and managers and, or I'm sorry, not man managers, manglers and abominations and <gasps> mimics and all that different stuff. Like, you, you constantly have to stay on your toes in this world. And while the first world is always very tame, I mean, the second world is immediately much more difficult, so I, I do enjoy it. Like I said, we're going to the driving objective, so. Dude, I, I highly recommend it. It's good. The story's actually, for a Call of Duty game, the story's actually pretty good, too. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's it's pretty good for a Call of Duty game. Hope you rocked. To be honest with you, the only reason why I really play Call of Duty is for the zombies. Um, I think so. I mean, technically, zombies is offline versus bots when you think about it. But I'm, I think there is. I'll, I'll check for that here in a little bit before we switch over to Black Mirror. I'll check for that. Is that really all you have? Fly away. Yeah, I think they, they they most definitely have that. But just to make sure, I will definitely check for it for you here once we uh, once I die and we switch over. Should I get this? Yeah, why not? I'll get this. More will be needed. Much more. See, this is what I mean by tears. See how it's purple right here, where it says Stoner 63. That just means it's a much more powerful gun. And you can upgrade this. You can actually upgrade this all the way up to orange. Um, but it takes a thousand of these, not, not, um, where it says 20, it takes a thousand of those scrap parts to upgrade it to orange. That's what I like about it. 
is it's that that's like you have to upgrade your weapon in order to make it better. It's not just one weapon's more powerful than the other. You actually have to upgrade them, and each weapon has its pros and cons. And I just think that this is this is just one of the best Call of Duty experiences in my eyes. Edit from a zombies aspect, because again, that's all I really play for a Call of Duty game. If a Call of Duty game doesn't have zombies in it, I'm, I don't get it. I just, I just, I just don't play it. I only play Call of Duty for, for zombies. It's really all I've ever played for. Body dropped. Because let's be honest, I mean, story and the the story mode in Call of Duty is just kind of dog shit. So, okay. Now let's go do the main objective. I would do these. The problem with these are is unless you have the correct perks or the per correct weapons, they're not really worth doing. Yeah, that that's one thing that I do hate is uh, they removed sp split screen. This this game does have split screen on zombies, but you literally have to go offline to do it and then it runs like absolute horseshit. I mean, split screens on Col on Cold War Zombies literally runs at like 30 frames per second. So it's not even worth doing. Um which is weird because I'm pretty sure you can run split screen on e everything else just fine, but it's like zombies that you can't run split screen on, which is just it's horseshit. Yeah, you exactly. Change is coming. Huh? Yeah, this this at 30 frame, frames. Uh, bleh, if I could speak, this at 30 frames per second looks horrible. God, do you remember when we all played PS2 games and the PS2 ran at the highest the PS2 ran was 20 frames per second, which is just abysmal. God, I remember, I remember getting, like, just like the old, the old games for PS2, I remember getting those. I remember Transformer, Transformers, the, the tie-in movie game, was like, was called, was said to be like, have some of the best graphics for PS2, and gen genuinely, for a, for a tie movie tie-in game, it had some pretty damn good graphics. Everything else about it was dog shit, but it had some pretty damn good graphics for a PS2 game. And, uh, I, I went back and looked at that. Dude, that game looks abysmal now. But back in the day, I mean, 20 frames per second, if you got a game that ran at 20 frames per second for the PS2, I mean, you were living the freaking dream. Yeah, right? But now we, of course, we got 60 frames per second, and... It's just beautiful. Apparently, they're trying to make games that can run at, like, 100 frames per second, is what I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if that's a thing. But, I, that's what I, that's just what I've heard. Again, you should always shoot these things before you try to open them. Got them scared. You are weak and pathetic. That's always that's always another way that you can tell if these things are real or not, because if you come into a building and there's no zombies around and none of them come out of the ground, then you pretty much know these things are fake. But if they're puppy guarding them and running after you, then yeah, you, you know for a fact they're real. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the objective. Then we'll go ahead and power punch get perks and go to the next world. Okay, I only got 600 scrap. So that means I'll only be able to upgrade to green this round. I might be able to get up to purple if I play my cards right. What we can do in order to get into purple is so it's 650, 700. So instead of going straight to the objective, what we can do 
is we can go to the park Move machine. on my waypoint. Oh, they're going to start running games at 120? That doesn't surprise me at all. Have you guys seen the trailer for the uh, remake of The Last of Us? God, it looks like absolute dog shit. I mean, the, the, the remastered that didn't look that much better than the PS3 version looks better than that. I mean, it just looks weird. It doesn't look good. The textures are just wrong. <laughs> Raven says. You know, I don't blame you for not enjoying The Last of Us, because honestly, it's a game that's really not for everyone. Like me, for, like me personally, I love The Last of Us. My wife cannot stand it. I have faced it was a not for her any- well, My wife, you know, she's just- Go ahead and get death perception. That dead. Is that really all you have? So what death perception does it will actually increase the amount of scrap that the zombies drop. Just about of any collectibles that the zombies drop. Like they'll drop more scrap, they'll drop more ammo, they'll drop more um, they might drop a revive kit, so it's always good to have death perception in your arsenal. Man, I totally get it. It's a, The Last of Us is a very slow game. You really gotta have patience to... I mean, you really gotta have a keen amount of patience to play that game. Mine, it's a no very, up. very slow game that cares very little for the audience's for the audience's time. So I totally get it. Totally understand it. Okay, so I got 990, so that's good. So I should have enough to upgrade to blue by the time we get done with the main objective. And then once I upgrade to blue, I can go ahead and do the crystal side quest Easiest get myself up to purple and then I we can go pack a punch off you go so let's go do the main quest You know what? I don't think I've said this. Um, there's a reason why I want to pack a punch the assault rifle. I'm actually trying to unlock a different assault rifle, and you need to pack a punch in order to do it. You need to pack a punch an assault rifle three times, so you need to get the third tier of pack a punch, and you need to kill 750 zombies when it's pack a punch three times. I feel like I should have said that to begin with because I have a purple. Um, uh, uh, light machine gun, and I feel like I didn't make that very clear, so um, that's why I'm doing that. I'm not insane, I'm just trying to uh, unlock a certain gun. That's not good, not good at all. Specimen's still active, I think it's sending out a signal. That damn thing just called for reinforcements. Get ready for a fight. If they destroy that machine, we'll lose our valuable intel. <laughs> 
Okay, Raven. Come on, that's not very nice. It's not nice to be so truthful. Is wrong. Okay, you're gonna be here, but you're just gonna be quiet. Well, that is totally fine. Thank you, sir, for showing up. I'm gonna die. Which, if I die, I'm not restarting. Okay. Strike team. Damn it. That's another team gone. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and play Black Mirror now. But before I play Black Mirror, I promised Raven I was gonna check something for him, so. to go to multiplayer but we're not going to go to multiplayer okay so we're right now we're online so I'll go to play locally multiplayer change mode Because uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't give a shit. Okay, so hmm. edit game rules settings. Team deathmatch is that what it is? Change mode. Team deathmatch. Edit game rules settings. Might be in free for all, hold on. Change mode. Let's do gunfight. Three versus three. Confirm. So if it's in three first versus three. Let's just do three versus three real quick. See, because you can do split screen. You push X for split screen. But if it's on three versus three, I would assume...
There's going to be bots. Gunfight. It's all on you. Stay focused and take the win. Work clean and buy the book. <clears throat> okay, I don't see any bots. So that's not it. We're deadlocked. Withdraw to Xville location. They're not gonna break. Let's get out of here. Okay, so team deathmatch, free for all team deathmatch, domination only. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so, oh, bots and players right here in front of my face. Team Deathmatch. Bots and players. Add bot. Add bot. Add. Yep, you can add bots. There you go, Raven. And then when Patience pr presses X, there will be split screen. So, yes, you can do bots. I don't know if they're on the same team as you or not, but... Bot settings. Yeah, so you can... Yeah. You can totally add bots. There you go. Okay. 